Do you want to hit insane shots like this consistently? Or just improve your aim or boost your KD in general? Oh, good night. Stick around for my top five tips. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you the best tips to win more gunfights in Rainbow Six Siege right now. So I'm going to be running through multiple things like training ground stuff. Um, obviously this is not going to be a thing soon, but I'm just showing you for examples for these things. And I'll be going into some custom games too, just to show you some things for examples. I feel like these are really going to help you improve immediately. Like right away you'll get something from it, hopefully. By the way, sorry I haven't uploaded the last few days now. I did get very sick the last, uh, like week now, pretty much. Um, I had one pre-recorded video, and I have gotten a couple more recorded now for the full Soul EQ games. So, stick around the next couple days if you want those out. And the day the new season launches on Tuesday, I'll be doing a settings video that breaks down all my settings and why I use what I use. And I'll be showing you how to find your perfect sensitivity in that video. Enough of all that, though. Let's get into this video. So tip number one is going to be crosshair placement. So there's two things with crosshair placement. You want to aim head level, obviously. But you also want to know exactly where you're supposed to be looking or have a good general idea of where you should be looking. Like, when I'm going through this door right here, I already know ahead of time because of the map there's going to be a little cutout right here. Just about. I can see right in the vents right here. I know right here on the other side, this is going to be the door. So this is probably a good spot to aim too. And there you go, there's a kill already. Didn't even know that guy was coming. Let me shoot that out too, so you can see. And then obviously right here, I would have been looking here because I know there's a door there. And there's a default. So you always want to try to aim head level though. Now it's not the worst to aim a little lower than head level. So if you aim like right here in between crouch and head level, it's not the worst because then you can flick either down just a little bit or up a little bit. To get the headshot because some people will be crouching around but if you're going against good players they're usually not going to be crouched they're going to be moving around the map quickly they're going to be standing up they could crouch shot you at the last second but that that just comes down to general aim and flicking at the uh, end of the day so one tip for crosshair placement for head level um basically on all barricades on the doors let me go see if i can find one really quick also, if you guys want a recoil video, that's not going to be a tip in this video, but... I mean, come on, that's the F2 with extended barrel. So tell me below in the comments if you want a recoil video. But basically, on the head level for doors... I should have showed you before I shut that one barricade down. So here's one. This little buckle right here is going to be about head level. So you want to aim right around there. And that's going to be a headshot every time. That's a good way to train it when you're running through the training grounds, the... The new AI mode that just came out for the new season. They're coming out if you guys haven't played the test server. It's going to be like right there though. That's head level. That's just a good way to get it down. Eventually you will just get used to what head level is. A lot of you guys probably already know, but just for any beginners. Try to know what you're aiming at beforehand though and have a plan of what you're supposed to be looking at before you come across the other side. That's all there is to crosshair placement really, but... As you can already see doing this training grounds, if you have good crosshair placement, that's going to make your life a lot easier. You're already going to be aiming in the right spot. They're going to walk into your crosshairs. You just got to shoot, and it's going to be a kill. The next step is going to be quick peek. So, so there's a guy right here on the other side of this. He just hit, of course. But when he comes back out, I'll show you a quick peek. You basically just want to go in and out of cover like this as quickly as you possibly can. I guess this guy's scared. And there he is. You're doing this for information. You're not really doing it for the kill. Obviously, that's just a big bonus, but... You do this to know where they are. You don't even have to, like, do the unADS thing like I do. That's just how I do my quick peeks. You can also just do this, though. You don't have to do the unADS thing like I do. You can literally just jiggle peek it. And then you can just crouch down, change your positioning. So, go crouch when you actually want to shoot. That way they won't just pre-fire exactly where you are if they see your head come across the corner. 
Preferably, you just want to shoot them the first time you see them, too, when you come back around, because otherwise you might miss and uh, they're just going to get a pre-fire on you every time. For the lean I'm doing right there, all you have to do is unclick your stick. So lean the right. So I'm leaning around to the right right here past this door. I'm going to unclick it like this and then click it again while in it, while un ADSing just a little bit like right in between. So here's full motion. I'm trying to do it like slower so you can kind of see. I'm unclicking the right stick right when I un ADS for a second there. I feel like that's faster. I don't see anybody doing it really as much, but it just seems like it'd be faster to me since you are faster when you're um, not ADS. Everybody's a three armor when they're ADS. So you can see how I'm moving right now. And then right now I'm way faster. So I'm not sure if that's actually faster quick peeking like that. This is how I've done it and now I'm in a good rhythm with it. So why change it? But there's also like the Shiko lean. So you want to just go that way. Then you click the other lean like left lean now and then back to right lean really quick so kind of like that that's like the shiko peak you can do it like that if you want to or again you can just simply do jiggle peaks like this do this and it's going to be way better than just blindly coming in like this and then dying because you're not ready to take that gunfight and they're holding the angle you do this and see somebody's there though you can just crouch quickly and they're going to miss the pre-fight you're going to get a free kill so tip number three is going to be positioning. I'm on a chalet in the basement side. So I have some barbed wire right here on my doorway. I'm playing the smoke shotgun. I feel like for practicing positioning, playing like smoke, mute shotgun, any of that kind of stuff is going to be really helpful and it's going to get you a lot better with your positioning. So if you're like a smoke main with SMG 11 shotgun, you're probably really good at positioning just by default because you have to be in good spots. Otherwise, you're just kind of in a bad spot. You know what I mean? So if you put yourself in a bad spot, you're probably going to die and get punished for it right away. You can't just fight yourself out of that position with like the Warren MPX 1.5 or well, my 1.5 or whatever you have. Or Mozzie. Any 1.5 basically. So you have to have good positioning. So that will put you in better habits when you are playing those kind of guns too. So try to play some more smoke. Play some more mute. Um, you guys that play those ops probably know what I mean. So if I'm like on this door right here. I'm not going to be like swinging this, trying to get like a one tap on this. That just would not be smart at all. They're going to have the advantage every single time. I have barb here, so why not just push back? Play in, the blue, play in the blue hallway. I don't have to hold an angle on this. This is going to lead right into the next tip, tip number four. So tip number four is going to be playing passive angles. So right here, there's no need to peek this door. They can just pre-fire me before they even hit the barbed wire, basically. And I'll just die, because Peeker's advantage in Siege. When you're playing online, they're going to have advantage every single time. Unless your ping's like 100 lower than theirs or whatever. So instead of holding an angle on that, literally just play right here. Wait for the barbed wire to start moving around. And then swing and you have a free kill off information. You can even quick peek it if you need, just in case they're looking at you. But you could probably pre-fire and it's going to be a freebie. Passive angles are really big in this game. I don't see a lot of people utilizing them for some reason. But passive angles are key. So just literally hold this instead of holding the door. If you have some kind of gadget. If they start hitting the barbed wire, maybe move. Don't put yourself here in this corner though. That kind of ties in with tips um, or with tip number three with positioning. Right here, you're just trapped. Especially if this wall is open, then you're really in a bad spot. But you're just trapped if you put yourself here. If they drone you or whatever, they know you're here and they can just hold your cross. And they can hit a shot on you. Or if they just push in and drone and you don't even know they droned you, they're just going to get a free pre-fire on you. You're just putting yourself in a terrible spot. Literally just play this side. Hold a passive angle. And you're going to win that gunfight every single time. I guarantee it. Now, you can use a lot of trap operators for this kind of stuff too. Barbed wire is very underrated, I feel like, in today's game. Um, I know back in the day people loved their barbed wire, but barb is still so good, especially if you're like solo queue a lot, like me, for my full games. You know I like uh, the barbed wire on smoke a lot, thin rear barb, you know, stuff like that. It's a shame Jaeger lost his barbed wire now, but we move on. But yeah, trap operators too, kind of like Legion. If I had a goo on this door too, I could do the exact same thing. An Ella mine somewhere at the top, thin rear mine. Like right when the thin rear goes off. 
Swing the door, free kill, because they're completely blind. Like, there's no need to hold this angle, because now, if I'm holding this angle in the Fenrir, the Fenrir's going off, but he's walking in, it does take a second to register. Or if, the, if they had, like, a Legion Mine or Ella Mine, they can still shoot back, and I could die from this angle, because they're going to have Peeker's Advantage. I don't need to hold that angle. I can just peek this, and then take Peeker's Advantage myself, while having complete information, because I already know they're through the doorway, so it's an easy pre-fire, like I said before. So play off your traps, play off your utility well, and it's going to give you a lot of free gunfights. A lot of one-sided gunfights, too, I should say. That might actually be the most important tip so far. So tip number five, the last one of this video, this is going to be head placement. So kind of like crosshair placement away, but it's going to be wherever your head's at. So if someone's coming around this corner right here, say they drone you out, they know you're here and everything. Instead of uh, just staying in the same spot, jump up on this desk and just stay standing now. Don't crouch back lower because that's going to make it easier for them. If you stay standing here now, this is going to make it so hard for them to win the gunfight. When you're jumping up, by the way, on the platform or something, shoot your gun. Like that, and they can't even hear the vol sound either. So now they're going to have no idea you're up here. Obviously, make sure nobody's coming up your spiral. Another tip, if somebody is coming up spiral, you know they are. I have barb down there too, like right there. They're never going to expect somebody to be this high, holding an angle this far down the stairs. So if you didn't know about this, that's going to be like free kills right there on whoever's coming up. So yeah, jump up here, do that. It's going to be a free kill when they come around this corner, I guarantee it. They are not going to be expecting somebody to be holding that angle right there. And you're just going to pop their head right away. Even if they, even if you don't get a headshot and hit their body, like if you can't aim, it's going to be a free kill just off your positioning. This kind of ties in with tip number three again. A lot of things come back to positioning at the end of the day. That's why I've said that a couple times now. But yeah, this is going to help you a lot if you just change your head placement. I'm sure if I go into a different room, I can find something immediately again. Yeah, so again on this desk, if they're pushing from the yellow hall over here, they come through this door, they're not going to be aiming this high up at my head. So I might have that advantage in the gunfight because they're going to be aiming at like my knees if they're aiming head level. So it's going to be freebies every single time. Off angles are key. This also might be one of the best tips in the video. Really good ones in this one. Now, obviously, there's not always going to be something to jump up on top of. So, if somebody's coming through this door right here. Um, when you're swinging around this corner, if you are going to be swinging, try to crouch before you take the gunfight. Again, this is like a quick peek thing, too. If you quick peek and see they're there, try to crouch before you shoot. By crouch shotting now, or if they're just coming around the corner, you see them right here. Try to crouch when you're shooting. Because that's going to make it much harder for them to trace around your head. Now, this doesn't mean to crouch spam when you start shooting people. It's not old day siege. That is not going to help you. It just slows you down, if anything. It makes it harder for you to aim. So don't crouch spam. Don't lean spam, obviously. That does not help these days. Maybe if it was your three. But just try to do a simple crouch shot. That's going to make it harder for them to hit your head again because it's going to be lower. But if they are aiming crouch level, like if they're not the best player, they don't have the best crosshair placement, like we went over earlier, then you're probably giving them a free kill. That does happen sometimes, it's just the risk of it. Um, but if you're going against good players, that will work a lot of the time. You can just crouch under their crosshairs, and you can kill them instead. Yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for these tips, though, guys. Um, tell me if you want to see more tip videos like this. Somebody said I should do, like, a 15 to 25 advanced tip video or something. for um, Like, for advanced players in the game. I could do something like that for sure if you wanted to. Just tell me down below what you want. Um, again, tell me if you want a new recoil video too for this season. I can do attachment videos too if you want to see that kind of stuff. I did some last season though. Check those out if you need to. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything though. Um, there should be a couple solo queue videos coming out in the next couple days. Very interesting ones too. The next one's going to be something to behold. But hope you guys enjoy those. Leave a like down there below if you did enjoy this one. Subscribe for new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.